had a very long day. I'm glad we're going to have an early night, Stinky. Oh, hello, my dear sweet little poppets, and welcome to story time. Well, my little poppets, Stinky and I, and of course Sleepyhead Maxwell here, we've decided to have an early night, I'm afraid. We've had rather a long and busy day, so we're all bathed in our pyjamas. Maxwell can't keep awake, he's so tired. And we've got our pyjamas on and we're going to have perhaps a story, of course, and maybe a game, and then we're going to go to bed because we're all rather, oh, very tired, I'm afraid. And Max, oh, Maxwell, you've woken up. Well, thank goodness, dear, because you're just in time for story time. Now, as I was just saying to the puppets, Maxwell, um, I don't know what's going on, but I've lost my glasses. I can't find them anywhere. And Stinky and I have been looking. Stinky's lost his teddy bear as well. What's that? What's that, my dear Pocket? What's that? Oh, they're on my chair, are they really? Well, I'd better have a look then. Thank you, dear Poppet, for telling me that. Oh, are you quite sure? No, they're not on my chair. What's that? What's that? Oh, they're on the floor. Maxwell, the little Poppet just told me that they're on the floor. Let me have a look. No, Stinky, they're not on the floor. Well, I'm... They're on your head. On my head? Are you sure? Yeah. No, they're not. Oh, they're on my face. Oh, they're on my face, my dear little poppets. Oh, thank you, Maxwell. Well, no wonder I couldn't find them then on my face. And Maxwell, we still haven't found Stinky's teddy, dear. Yes, yeah, Stinky. I don't know where it is, dear. Oh, yes, I know you love teddy. You haven't seen it anywhere, have you, dear? No. Oh, oh, well, Stinky, you'll just have to go to bed without Teddy, I'm afraid. Have I? Well, thank you, Maxwell. Well, he can have your Minecraft dog, I do believe it. You hang on to that for a minute, dear. Now, as I was saying, my little poppets, I've got my teddy bear here, my lovely Care Bear, which I love, a lovely bright colour there, lovely purple, and I take him to bed. Now, we'll pop Teddy down here for just a moment, and I am waffling on just a bit, so I suppose I should get on with the story. Now, oh, Stinky, look, dear, on the cake, it's your teddy. Did you put that there, Maxwell? Did you put the bear on the cake? Maybe. Well, Stinky, I think we should perhaps take Teddy off the cake, dear. Oh, Teddy, yes, you love Teddy. And we'll crack on. What's that, dear? The moon's on there. Yes, well, I'm going to get to that in just a moment. Now, my little poppets, we've got this wonderful story cake here. It's covered in lovely stars, and there's a moon on the top. Now, that gives me a bit of a clue. Stars and a moon, I think that might be to do with sleepy time. So, today's story is called, thank you, stinky dear, it's called, where, oh, where, is Huggle Buggle Bear. Look at that. Where, oh where, is Huggle Buggle Bear. Now, Maxwell, you sit down, dear, and have a seat there and get nice and comfy. And Stinky, you can sit under the story tree with Maxwell. Wonderful. I've got Maxwell spending the night, so that's marvellous. And we'll crack on with the story. Where, oh where, is Huggle Buggle Bear. This looks like a good one, I have to say. And here we go, my little poppets. Where, oh where, is Huggle Buggle Bear? I can't find him anywhere. He always hides when it's time for bed. He is such a funny bear. And there he is, looking for Huggle Buggle Bear. I wonder where he could be. Yes, dear. Oh, stinky. Oh, Stinky's playing tricks like he quite often does. Is he snacking on toast and honey? Making crumbs with Babbity Bunny? No, he isn't with Babbity Bunny. Can you see that there, Maxwell? Look at him sitting there. And I'll turn the book so the poppets can see. There we are. Snacking on toast and honey. Oh, oh Stinky's up to some mischief again. He quite often is. It's way past Huggle Buggle's bedtime and I'm feeling very cross. I can't go to bed without him. I hope he isn't lost. Have you ever lost your Minecraft dog, Maxwell? Never, ever, ever, ever. Never, ever. Well, that's good. You keep track of him. That's the ticket. Where, oh, where is Huggle Buggle Bear? I can't find him anywhere. He always hides when it's time for bed. He's such a silly bear. And there he is, and he's still looking for Huggle Buggle Bear. 
Well, he needs to take a lesson or two from Maxwell because Maxwell doesn't lose his Minecraft dog, do you? Look at him there, Maxwell. Can you see? Ah, searching high and low for Huggle Buggle. Ah, oh, Stinky, you behave yourself. Stop nibbling my arm. You've had enough to eat already. Is he bouncing on his belly on the sofa with Ellie Nelly? Well, I don't know. What do you think, my little poppets? Is he there? Oh, I don't know. Ah, oh, Stinky. You're not listening to the story, naughty mouse. No hints for you. No, nothing else to eat. You've had enough. No, he isn't bouncing with Ellie Nelly and he isn't playing with Babbity Bunny. Well, I wonder where on earth he could be. We're just going to have to find out. I don't know. Where do you think he is, Maxwell? Do you know? It's way past Huggle Buggle's bedtime, naughty stinky, and I'm feeling very sleepy. I can't go to bed without him. It's much too dark and creepy. Where, oh where, is Huggle Buggle Bear? I can't find him anywhere. He always hides when it's time for bed. He's such a naughty bear. Naughty Huggle Buggle. He's hiding and he needs to go to bed because it's bedtime. How on earth, my little pop is? Oh, stinky. Oh, how am I going to get Stinky and Maxwell off to bed? They're fidgeting already, so I very much doubt they're going to go to sleep and have an early night straight away. Oh, and I'm very tired. Is he making lots of noise with Woolly Lamb and other toys? No, he isn't playing with Woolly Lamb. He isn't bouncing with Ellie Nelly. He isn't snacking with Babbity Bunny. Well, he's not doing any of those things, so I don't know where he could be. I think this little boy has searched high and low and he hasn't got high and low and hasn't found him yet. It's way past Huggle Buggle's bedtime and now I'm feeling worried. I can't go to bed without him. Oh, stinky. That would be really horrid. Where, oh where? Oh, dreadful rats out there. Oh, sounds like a dragon going past. Where, oh, I think it was. Where, oh where is Huggle Buggle Bear? I can't find him anywhere. He always hides when it's time for bed. He is such a bothersome bear. A bothersome bear. Well, I suppose this young fellow is getting rather, rather fed up because he wants to go to bed. Stinky, I said that's enough, dear. No, Maxwell, you're going to have to help him behave, dear. He's in one of his moods again. Oh, is he splashing in the tub, blowing bubbles? with rubber dub dub No, nope. there he is there. Look at that, all those bubbles. Did you enjoy your bubble bath? I did, I love a bubble bath, it's wonderful. Except I stayed in there for far too long. I've got wrinkly fingers. How long? Oh, too long, Maxwell. I stayed no, there for five hours. Did you? Oh, you're turning to a fish. No, he isn't splashing with rubber dub dub He isn't playing with woolly lamb. He isn't bouncing with Ellie Nelly. He isn't snacking with Babbity Bunny. And there he is there. Ah, oh, wonderful bath with a rubber duck. Stinky nose. Looks marvellous. Ah, oh, stinky. Behave yourself, dear. Ah, oh, it's way past Huggle Buggle's bedtime and now I'm feeling sad. I don't want to go to bed without him, but I think I better had. Stinky. Well, oh, Maxwell. You and Stinky, what a pair, and there he is there, brushing his teeth because he's just had enough and he's going to have to go to bed without the bear, I'm afraid. I know where there's a Huggle Buggle bear and all the other toys. I think they must be fast asleep, so shh, don't make a noise. And there they are, all tucked up in bed after all. Ah, the best place to be when you've had a busy day. And on the last page it says, night, night. And there he is, the dear little fellow with Huggle Buggle Bear and all the other toys. Well, the end. Just a minute, dear Maxwell. You're just as bad as stinky, dear, you cheeky fellow. And that was called, where oh where is Huggle Buggle Bear? Well, I don't think you two heard much of that story at all. You're being rather cheeky. Cheeky Stinky and Cheeky Maxwell, but it's a good thing all the dear poppets out there were listening and I hope you enjoyed that story. Now, Maxwell, I need you to behave dear and to sit up with Stinky for just a minute 
because before we say goodbye, my little poppets, there's something I want to share with you that's quite special. Now, because we're talking about sleepy time and night time and the moon and the big bright stars, I don't know if you're aware, but if you have an apple and if you cut it in the right way, when you open the apple up, you have a lovely little star inside. So we're going to try it and see if it'll work. Do you think it'll work, Maxwell? Maybe. Now, if you want to try this at home, just one little point, it's best to get a grown-up to help you because, after all, knives are very sharp. Can I help? Well, not with this one, Maxwell, because it is very sharp. We're going to make a cut. Isn't everything sharp? Well, knives are particularly sharp, so we have to be very careful. This one's rather tricky, but it's getting there. Just a little bit of patience. And we'll soon have the apple cut. Ooh, I might try this way. Wait a minute. Oh, perhaps I should have chosen a the only thing different knife. Let me have a look. Oh, yes. Can you see? There's yeah. a little star. Now, I'm going to hold this up to the camera so you can hopefully you'll be able to see. We'll pop one. I think, yes, and no, I think that's the better one. So if you cut an apple in half, what happens is that you end up seeing a lovely little star inside. Can you see that there? A lovely little star right in the middle. Can you see that? Lovely. So perhaps you might want to try that at home. Doesn't matter, it can be a Granny Smith apple or another kind. And if you get mum or dad or a grown up to help you, you can find a lovely little star inside. Wonderful, I think that's lovely, I like that. And of course, you've got a tasty snack when you're finished and a very healthy one. Well, as I was saying, thank you for chipping. Now, just a minute, Maxwell. Oh, you too, you're very naughty tonight. How am I going to get you off to sleep? Thank you for tuning in for story time. I hope you enjoyed the book. Perhaps you could make your own starry story time cake or find a lovely little star inside an apple. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time, bye!